How's it going everybody? Coming at you from Melton Hill, uh, below Melton Hill Dam, Tennessee. Fishing the river here. Got Jeff up there. Gonna be fishing for, uh, we're gonna be fishing for striper, crappie, muskie, anything that bites. Never been here in a, I don't think Jeff's ever been here either, so I've never been here in my life, but uh, hopefully we figure something out, get some fish on the board for y'all. Getting pretty close to the dam up here. Not seeing anything on the graph, but that's never stopped me before. Dang, that drops off. <laughs> Holy cow. That's quite the drop off right there. Yeah. I'm down to go downstream. <laughs> go down and mess with those drum you saw. I'm ready to rock with this Bobby Garland now. Fish this in the bottom of the middle of the well, the bottom of the bottom of the river. I'm gonna fish that in the bottom of the river. River. What? I can't talk with this thing on my mouth. I, I can tell. The bottom of the river. Oh, got a fish on Jeff. I had to restart the camera because I didn't believe. It. <laughs> He's a. Uh, I don't know, I was just fishing that Bobby Garland out in the middle. I didn't even feel him hit it, I just lifted up, thought I was in the grass. I don't know. He's pulling pretty good. He's pulling pretty good. I wish I could just see him so I could Oh, it's a drum. Yay! My first Tennessee drum. Yeah! Cool. Normally I don't get excited about drum, but I got excited about that one. See you, buddy. Thanks for splashing me. Well, I caught a drum. That was cool. I just yeeted my bait way out there in the middle. Like 20 feet of water. There it was. Oh, water snake. I want. Give me, give me, give me. Dude, look at that. Can you imagine living right there? It's got cedar posts for uh, holding up the... And by post, I mean like... They just took a tree. Yeah. It didn't really doll it up that much. That's cool. This looks pretty good. Yeah, there's a lot of grass on the bottom. There's a fish. Good fish on here. Come on. He thumped it. I felt him thump it. I was going to say, it kind of felt like a small one. Dude, I love this little rod. You can see the... I hooked it over there. Huh? There's a massive chunk of logs right back there. Look at this rod just eating that fish, dude. Come here, baby. Come on, baby. Hooked him right in the side of the gill plate. These fish are brown. Have you noticed that? These drum are a different color. Yeah. Is it because of toxic waste? Probably. <laughs> yeah, these, these things are fun out of this river here. That's cool. A little sandbar here. This holds my pop tarts. If you're not uh, working with one of these, you're missing out. Boom. No harm to the Pop-Tarts. Something going on right over here. All kinds of bait fish and birds going crazy.
There we go. <laughs> Different kind of fish right here. What on earth? Oh my God, that's my first perch. <laughs> oh. Do they have teeth? I don't think they do. Look at that thing! Up. I'm so proud of this right now. <laughs> yeah. I know it seems a little weird, but that is my first perch ever. Ever. <laughs> That's awesome. We are waiting on them to turn on the first turbine. turbine. Um, should happen in about 45, maybe 40 minutes. Um, so we're trying to get up to the dam before then. Really kind of uh, feeling uneasy about how it's gonna look like with two turbines. The one's gonna be 7,000 CFS and some change. But if they turn on both of them, um, I'm hoping we can just kind of hide out over in the spillway area and that it'll really turn on the fishing. So they'll have one turbine on for one hour and then two for four hours. We'll see how that looks. I'm gonna double check that on my phone real quick. There it goes. So in addition to my smaller bait there, I'm gonna use this uh, other Lunker City bait on a 3 8 ounce head on my 3000 and try to get it down where I think those stripers will be at. I just want to, I just want a real fish. I want a striper. Sitting there watching Jeff fight a drum. Turned my camera off because I wasn't doing anything. Here I am catching a drum. Oh wow. No shortage of drum in here. No shortage of drum in here. Swam right in the net. Man, I was sitting there watching you. Then I catch one. You ate the sluggo. Ah, I got water all over the camera. That's a stout little hook though, you know? Yeah, put the Bobby G back on. I'm gonna catch a drum, Jeff. That's what's over here. I'm gonna use the little, uh, crappie rod for him. There we go. Got one. It didn't take long. Boy, these drummers are so strong. Swim feels a little bigger. Yeah. All right. Nice little drum. Yeah, first cast. There it is. I can't believe those people heard that siren and just didn't do anything. Yeah. Like you saw what happened with the first siren. There's another one. Yeah.
Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Another drum. Heck yeah. They are getting bigger. You hold it like that, it looks like a redfish. You know, people tend to gripe about, you know, ah, it's just a drum, I hate catching drum. And you know, I can get the irritation if you're targeting something else, but a fish is a fish. And anything that pulls that hard, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Enjoy catching it every single day. Oh, I wish there would be a striper in there. There we go. Nice. Finally got one of them. The old sluggo. Going for a little sleigh ride. Swimming around. Yeah. <clears throat> Thing is, I didn't even feel him pick it up. Half these fish, I just go to raise my rod tip and it's snug. It's like just tugging on it. Yeah, another, another drum. They're getting bigger. Oh yeah, that's the biggest of the day right there. Come here. Keep that mouth wide open, baby. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's uh that's probably the biggest one of the day. Flip my rod there. That's the biggest one of the day, right there. On the sluggo. Get that get that out of there. Well they're wearing that little bait out just for just to see. Oh yeah, that was six y'all get a good look at that one what a cool predator get him back down in the water see you later dude so the camera shut off because it was too hot um we're in direct sunlight now it's just a battle of whether or not the camera overheat and how many fish i'm catching off camera the drum are just going insane right now uh, i'm gonna have to kind of keep the camera off until something big happens or at least till the sun goes down a little bit but i'm catching all kinds of fish the drum are going nuts right now about to switch it up, start drifting, see what I can get into. And hopefully the fish start biting. I'll turn the camera on when it happens. Channel cat. I thought it was fighting. Oh, yeah? That's, uh, that's cool. Channel cat hit that. I thought the, the bite felt a little different. Ah, right, come on now. Wish I would have got that fight for y'all, but the camera is just overheating. So many fish down there. So many different kinds of fish down there. <sighs> nice. You good? See you later, buddy. <laughs> Wonder what happens when we flip around. Work it back to us. I'm not gonna talk, I'm not gonna show Jeff. He's gonna be mad. <laughs> oh, feels like it's another channel cat. The channel cat was rolling. Mm hmm. Yeah. Are we on another channel cat here? 
Yeah. Yeah. Another channel cat. Wow. Holy crap. Don't roll me off, baby. Uh-huh. Open that mouth up. All right. Yeah. Huh. Okay. There it goes. <laughs> Those y'all that don't know what I'm talking about when I say sluggo. Bunker City Fishing Sluggo. I'm using number 116 in the smelt pattern. Three inch. So I'm taking like pinching the head off there. Pinch the head off. Use a super glue. Button it up against like that. And fishing it. Little dot of super glue, keep it on the head. You can tell I'm hot and I drink an energy drink. I'm shaky. Getting hungry too. So push it up on the head. I just sharpened that hook, by the way. Come out about right, right there. Push it up on the head like that, and boom. Let it dry. So much fun. So much fun. Wish Jeff was catch him like this boy he thumped the crap out of that Another drum. Yeah. Oh, they're everywhere. Yeah. Well, you didn't care that my sluggo was messed up, did you? Yeah. burping up the rest of my sluggos yeah they just shut it off remember uh as soon as they shut off wolf creek that day joe caught that big trout right in the trough yeah there you go all right Hi, baby. Yeah, we'll do it. Watching Jeff catch a fish that brought him back to life because he's not caught one in four hours and he's very grouchy. Oh, so he's happy he caught one then? Hey, what is that, Jeff? What? How about that's a girl? Is that a striper? That's the uh, Bro, if you catch a striper. It's not a girl. Oh, that's a big walleye, dude. Oh, my God, look at that thing. It felt kind of weird. Wow. Jeff just caught a five, six pound walleye, baby. Nice. Now I know why they said that there's guys out here every night for walleye. Yeah. I literally haven't talked to Jeff for like two hours because he's been very, very off to himself. And because uh, he wasn't catching nothing. But he just caught a walleye as soon as you. Jeff crank. He crank. Wow, that's a big walleye, dude. All right. Three, two, one. Three, yeah, I was two, one. Three, two, one. Nice like one, dude. Anything. Like anything yeah. yeah. That's uh, dude. That's 27 inches long. Yeah. 26, 27 inches long. That's, clo that's close to my PB lengthwise, but. You've mine got them. Was a, mine was a pre spawner. Right. Yeah. Uh, we're going to hang out, fish probably the end of the, uh, we got like six more minutes of this generation. Uh, and then we're going to head probably down to the, the ramp. But I really appreciate you all tuning in. Uh, brand new place for us. Neither of us have ever been here. Figured it out. Made stuff happen. No stripers, no musky, but who cares? I mean, we drove, you know, two and a half, three, and me almost four hours to get here, and we, we caught fish. So. Melton Hill Lock and Dam, beautiful place here in Tennessee. 
we're gonna fish for a little bit longer but thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you click that subscribe button because that's all we do is explore and fish and share it with y'all thanks for watching